it's alright. Yo guys, what is up? Max on up for the latest video, and today we're bringing you back Chad Zane, my favorite Zane build of all time. Now, the redistributor has always been a very cool choice on Zane. It used to be one of the best picks. It fell out of favor uh, with the introduction or the nerf of extra projectiles and all the new weapons and new skills. It's always been a solid choice. It's back to being one of the best choices on Zane. It shreds. It feels like you're back running through the Malawan takedown on Mayhem 4 again. Uh, it's so, so good. Now, if you guys did not know, the redistributor got a 160% damage buff, which is allowing this to be so good. Lastly, the last time we made Chain Zane, a lot of things were different. Uh, Zane didn't have a fourth skill tree. Uh, we have a lot of new weapons. We have a lot of new artifacts, shields. Uh, so I will be updating it for 2021 Chain Zane to make it relevant to the game and its difficulty now. I hope you guys enjoy the video. If you do, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And with that, guys, let's get right into it. All right, guys, so for this video, we're going to talk about the gear first, and then we'll go into the skill tree. Now, before we go over anything, you need to understand the mechanics of how this build works. Most of you already know this, but to put it simply, Barrier gives us amp shots when we shoot through it. The redistributor chains when the shots are amped because we're shooting through the barrier. Every single shot is amped turning the redistributor into a mobbing machine. Now, it, even with its buff of 160% damage increase, it's still not great at single target. It's not bad at it, but using something like a light show will just be best for your single target damage and then use the redistributor whenever you have multiple enemies around to kill because those amp shots will just do ridiculous damage. Now, for the redistributor, because we're not using uh, Sentinel Cryo anymore because... If you use Sentinel Cryo, you can't spam ASCs, and ASC spam is way better with the Mantis Cannon. We're going to swap to next two mags on our redistributors. All your redistributors should be next two mags. It's just the best you can rock with. And the God Roll is a Cryo redistributor with next two mags radiation. I was not able to get a Cryo one to drop for me from Wotan, but Cryo with next two mags radiation, the reason that's better than what I have right now is because Cryo will drop with a higher base damage than radiation can drop with. So cryo next to max radiation is what you're going to be looking out for. That combo, cryo and rad, is very, very strong. The other weapons that you can use are, like, literally anything. This build is just all around pretty good. Uh, the reflex got a 31% buff. That's really fun. The light shell, always be strong. The uh, multi-tap with its 175% damage buff is really good. And then the Kibsworth, also good. I don't have a good anoint on this, but Kibsworth is also really strong. But this is a redistributor build. Uh, this is the build you should use the redistributor on. Next up, we're using the Revolter. The Revolter is just so good. I tried other shields. I tried the Infernal Wish. You just can't compete with the 200% shock that the Revolter will put out on our shots and on the chaining bullets. Now, I tried to make the Revolter work with the Banjo. The Banjo is the OG relic. We know it. We love it. Uh, the Revolter does give damage to the Banjo. I tested and I timed so many Malawan takedown clears, mi like mixing and matching different class mods with different artifacts. And uh, what I found the best combo to clear content the fastest is the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge with a Seeing Dead and the Revolter. I used the Antifreeze. I used the Spy. I used the Hustler class mod. I used... Uh, the conductor and i use the execute and i mit i mix them with the pearl of ineffable knowledge with the electric banjo with a hyperion company man and an icebreaker victory rush and the fastest clear time was seeing dead with pearl of ineffable knowledge now you and i both know that pearl is not good on zane air quotes because it's more gun damage zane doesn't need more gun damage what the pearl comes with that's actually really good is a 16 percent multiplicative damage increase uh, from this initial stacking. It's 90% damage plus 16% multiplicative damage increase that is active as long as you're basically shooting because you'll get those stacks so quickly. And that consistent 16% multiplicative damage increase is what allowed me to clear content faster. Yes, a Icebreaker Victory Rush when things are frozen and when you kill a badass is going to be way better than a Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge because you're going to get that 18% V1 Plus that 42% V2 uh, Icebreaker Victor Rush, if you can get a really good one, is 
technically should be better. I just found my clears with the Pearl of NFL knowledge were better uh, because it's more consistent. And then I Hyperion Company main, if you can get a god roll. Uh, this one's pretty freaking well rolled. Uh, it still couldn't keep up quite with speed with the Pearl of Ineffable Knowledge, but a Hyperion Company man would also be good. The 16% multiplicative damage increase at all times on the Pearl is just very consistent and very strong. Uh, and then I'm using an It's Piss with Incendiary. Because we're able to get so much shock damage, uh, your ASC, you can basically cover all your elements very easily with this build, allowing you to not really swap out from your base cryo... Um, and rad redistributor, which just makes everything so, so easy. Now we're going to switch to the skill tree. So the skill tree should be showing on screen. Now we went a full purple tree, full blue tree build. And if you want to go green or red, that's kind of up to you. I'll talk about that in a second. Um, the main things that I wanted to point out is five out of five cool hand is very nice for clear speed on this build. You're going to be reloading, uh, being able to reload very quickly is just very nice because we're using a seeing dead it can spec into violent violence playing dirty and donnybrook your god roll of a seeing dead uh, i have one to show here uh pretty much i think this is like amazing uh but i did not use that for the footage your seeing dead is going to spec into points into violent violence playing dirty and donnybrook donnybrook not as important as long as you have violent violence at five out of five and playing dirty at five out of five those are the most important things for you um, the rest of the blue tree, pretty self-explanatory. Red tree, Eraser does not work with the redistributor very well. I originally thought it did. It doesn't. It's still a really strong skill, and when it happens, the damage is very noticeable, and you can kind of aim and line those shots up. But just note that the Eraser uh, doesn't really work well with the redistributor. Uh, I still spec'd it, though, because we need to get our man Flint for that V2 damage. Commitment, nerfed, still strong. Uh, that cooldown rate is so so nice for us and um because we're going to be spamming mantis mana focus headman's hand fugitive domino effect for the reload speed fire rate a little bit of cooldown uh eraser and our man flint now this is where the build uh diverges if you want to go green tree or red tree now technically if you want to just relax and throw on chain zane and play and not have to worry about dying ever you would spec green tree and pick up all rounder you're literally just coming here for all rounder uh with the seeing dead you'll never drop your actual barrier and having the dome around you just helps your survivability so much now i wasn't dying with a red tree spec and that's why i decided on red tree because in our time testing red tree cleared faster than green tree just because you get premunitus uh you're gonna get borrowed time for that extra keep up uh you're gonna get duct tape mod for that immunity and then a hefty chunk of damage from Donnybrook. However, uh, All-Rounder is just nice and convenient to have. It's really just totally up to you guys what you want. I do think that Red Tree is a better decision, uh, but it's definitely not the easier decision if you're dying, spec Green Tree. Um, and yeah, guys, that's kind of it for the build. It's Chain Zane. You use a redistributor, you throw down your barrier, you shoot Mantis, and you run around. Our fire rate's ridiculous. Uh, we have so much damage. By the way, if you did not know, the Revolter also gives you fire rate when you activate it. So that's why our fire rate is even crazier on this build. Uh, make sure you're aiming down sights. That's kind of a new thing with Chain Zane. Uh, just for that R Man Flint V2 is going to be affecting your chains on your weapons and on uh, chains between enemies, giving it this extra damage, which is really, really nice to have. And yeah, guys, that is it for the video. The save file for this build will be in the Discord if you guys want to check it out and run it. Uh, the redistributor drops from Wotan and the Malawan takedown. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to drop a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Take care, guys. Peace. I was